Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm my does this. Today, I'm going to be opening up a Pokemon Celebrations Jackpot Prime Collection. So, without further scooby ado, let's get it. The hype is real, guys. The hype is real. Finally, some Celebrations product in my hands. I have already sort of opened up this Dragapult Prime Collection, you will see it if you haven't already watched it the video before this one with the Celebrations Prime Collection from Amazon exclusive and game exclusive I am, I've got I think I've got at least one of each product of Celebrations apart from the mini things and I'm going to be opening all of it in one sitting. So, without further scooby ado, let's get it. I couldn't be more excited, guys. I could not be more excited for this. I'm so excited! I'm so excited that. I forgot to actually showcase the bot. Let's see, so drug so drug book time. Empty one. Celebrate a Dragapult in its prime. I want to be showing you all the contents anyway, so I'll leave that there if you want to read it on screen. There you go. And here are the contents in the box. So, um, Here is your pin. I mean, not your pin, your um, coin. Oh, what are these? What the? How do you get these? Oh, oh. There's your code card. Here is your Dragapult Prime. Very nice, very nice. Down there. And your two celebrations packs and one vivid voltage. And then your Dracopult Prime Jumbo card. The Jumbo card's even badly off center. Look at that. Wow. And you also get a. Four, yep, four sleeve binder, four page binder. There you go. And then a leaflet explaining Pokemon Prime. So, I did read this in my last video, but just in case this is your first video, Pokemon Prime made their debut in the Pokemon DCG, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver series. In terms of gameplay mechanics, these Pokemon didn't add anything new to the Pokemon trading card game, but only that distract you from how great these Pokemon were. Pokemon Prime are remembered fondly for their excellent artwork, typically featuring a Pokemon bursting out of the card frame with a glint in its eye, sometimes on a different prominent feature, such as a tooth or an apple. These cards were stronger than normal Pokemon, and some of their some of the popular ones, such as Magnezone and Typhlosion, were used in World Championships winning strategies. When Pokemon Prime were first released, hundreds of the Pokemon we know today hadn't been discovered yet. It was very early in the history of Pokemon World. That's what makes the Dragapult Prime, pictured here, so special. This Pokemon from the Gala region gets to show off its amazing look as a Pokemon Prime. Don't forget about those Dreepy. And that's the leaflet. So. Um. I'm going to remove the binder. Leave the Dragapult Jumbo and the Dragapult itself. There for you with the coin. Let's start with vivid voltage. Oh boy, so excited, so excited. Vivid voltage, of course. Rainbow Chunkachu. And as I am on a nostalgia run, I'm going to be opening them opening them like I was eight year, when I was eight years old in 1999. So no card tricks then. So Slugma. Whismer, Execute, Wubat, Beldum, Reverse the Dene, and Let's go! Wow, 
Wow. A full art wow. and vivid voltage. That is a bonus. That is definitely a bonus. Full art. Is it B or is it B? B -er. Psychic energy. Mighty Anna. Incurchin. Larger. Okay, let's give you leave. Not too bad. To be honest, if I don't get anything from celebrations or any of the classics anyway in celebrations, this will actually make up for it. Moving on to the best part. Only two packs. Can I get lucky within two? What I forgot to do in my last video, guys, is bring this guy out. My crystal purple. And this one I won't forget. And hopefully in the rest of the videos I won't forget. Hmm. Can I pull one of the three Gen 1 starters from these two packs? Crystal Pokeball says no. Crystal Pokeball says no. Alright. Getting into it. How are you guys enjoying the celebration content so far, guys? Are you enjoying the set? Are you collecting the set? If you are, let me know down in the comments below. Oh, oh. Xerneas. I think first pack magic, guys. First pack magic. And the classic Cleffa from, I think, Neo Destiny. I don't remember. Oh, yes. Nice. And it has... Is, oh, yeah, there is texture, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Apart from the hollow texture, there is... Come on, Sean. There we go. There's a texture to the whole card. I like that. I like that. Nice. First pack magic, guys. Let's go! A double banger. Pull out Pikachu. Very nice first pack magic. Of course. We've got the celebration sleeves from the ETB, which I've already opened. But you guys won't be seeing that video until the end. That will be the last video that I post. Of course, leaving the best and the most expensive for last. It might not be the best because all the rest that I open might even pull better cards than that. That did, which I'm not going to spoil, but you never know. But uh, let's just say I left the most expensive for last, then I guess. Reshiram. I didn't sleeve the Pikachu. Groudon. Xerneas. No classic in this one. And. Oh, I pulled up Professor's Research. So. This. Oh, opening was actually not bad at all. I've got a full up B, I'm just gonna call it B from Vivid Voltage. I've got a classic Cleffa from one pack. Full up Pikachu. With that Caterpie in the background, peeking, Parasite. Four dishes down there, and Toasty! the OG one, the chubby chew, had yellow cheeks instead of red cheeks. So, yeah, to conclude the video, guys, not too bad. I pull in every pack, which I only got three anyway. B. Professor's V shirt and a classic Cleffa from Neo Destiny. Not a bad box. And on that note, guys, if you stuck with me to the end, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Rip to your ears.